Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Learning a new programming language would be a hassle unless you have a clear learning path to it. Similarly, Java. Java is one of the highly demanded programming languages in the current IT industry. Also, it is one of the most sophisticated languages. To excel in such a language, you would definitely need a planned learning path. Today's session will be all about the tips to learn Java in a faster and effective manner. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our channel and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with the important tips to learn Java programming language. So the first one is getting started with the basic fundamentals. Followed by that, we should be strong with algorithms and flowcharts. Next. Start coding from scratch. Later, understand what exactly is debugging and finally try some simple projects and stay updated. Now let us understand each one of them in detail. So the first one is basic terminologies. Data types, variables, operators, logical functions and conditional statements are building blocks of any programming language. This is the best place to get started with Java. You can find tons of resources online that could help you with the fundamentals absolutely for free of cost. The core Java tutorial from Simply Learn could prove to be a good resource to kickstart your Java learning path. The link to the video will be provided in the description box below. The second important step is to learn the algorithms and flowcharts. You might be wondering if algorithms and flowcharts are just visual representations of the logic behind the code. Not just you, but every beginner ends up with the same picture. But did you know that algorithms and flowcharts is where the solution actually starts to take shape? Yes. The algorithms and flowcharts are used to design a solution to explain step-by-step -step approach of the solution to the problem. If the solution is potentially feasible, then you can get started with coding the solution. So you must be capable of setting your algorithms and flowcharts carefully prior to getting started with code. I'll link a full tutorial on algorithms and data structures to better help you with everything at one place. Followed by algorithms, we have our test trials, that is, start coding from scratch. After you are comfortable with the basics, algorithms and flowcharts, it is time you try implementing them by writing actual code. Trust me, at this point, most of you might face trouble implementing the logic using code. If you face any such issue, it is better you turn back to the drawing board and learn the basics of programming again. It won't cost you much time compared to the time you would waste in the future trying to crack higher level logics as they might seem more complicated than they actually are. Now. The next step. Yes, to all those who are wondering, now it's time to get started with a fully fledged project, let me hold your horses there. Because there is one sensitive and critical step left behind between the learning to code stage and programming a fully fledged project. It is called debugging. You might be thinking the compiler does it, but there is a gigantic difference between translating the code to execute and debug the code. It's simple. Your logic for the code could be correct but not perfect in a few situations. For example, let us presume that you are a beginner and you are told to write a code for division operation. Let us imagine that you have written a code with three variables, a dividend, b divisor and c is equals to result. That is, c is equals to a divided by b. Now, your code might work in ideal situations where the divisor is less than the dividend and the divisor is not zero. But in case the divisor is zero or the dividend is smaller than the divisor, then you might see your code getting compromised. Here, you need to make minor twists and turns to your code and implement exception handling to resolve the situation by throwing an exception to the user instead of throwing an error in runtime. Parallelly, improvising and optimizing the code logic. I'll link down the tutorial for exception handling in Java so you have a better understanding of the same. Now, you know your next step, a fully fledged project. There are many projects available on online as open source and you can also get started with your own ideas. Creating a fully fledged project will put your skills to test and open a window to learn new things that you might have missed in the learning phase. There are multiple Java project videos by Simply Learn. I'll have the end-to-end -end project build tutorials and the top 10 Java projects that can get you hired links in the description box below. Now, the final step. Stay updated. 
It's a fact that major programming languages, IDEs and frameworks roll out new updates every month, every quarter, every year or even after a few years. No matter what, to be competent in the industry, you have to stay updated. So, you have to be constantly checking out for new updates and try to upskill in time. Simply Learn is always dedicated to help and guide passionate learners in the right way. So we have come up with Skill Up where you can get your dream certification with industry standards at free of cost. Yes, you heard me right, for free. I'll leave the link to the Simply Learn Skill Up free Java certification in the description box below. Feel free to check it out. With that, we have come to an end of this session on tips to learn Java. If you have found the tutorial to be helpful, please leave us a like and if you find that we have missed out on some important suggestions, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below as they might help the others as well. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.